Hello everybody, welcome to the Peace Security channel again. I know it's been quite a while since I've released a review, but that's because I've been quite busy with my university and uh, right now I want to get right back to it. So we'll do that by making a review of MCSoft today. Now, I have a little surprise at the end of this video. Well, there won't be any surprise because it'll be in the title, but anyway. Let's get started. So first of all, the user interface, um, it's, it's basically the same one as the last version. They haven't changed it. So this is version number 8.0.0.10. So pretty much their first release of version 8. So let's take a look. I mean, there's not much that has changed since the last version. They have some small improvements, but nothing really, you know, groundbreaking or anything of that sort. So it comes with a behavior blocker. That's their form of zero-day malware protection. They have rules for different alerts, and they have community-based alert reduction, which is nice which means if 90% or more of the community members have decided to allow or deny the program access, it's not going to ask you any questions. It's directly going to do whatever 90% or more of the people did. So you can change this. You can make it like 50% if you don't want to answer you know, too many alerts or anything. So you have that option. And if you're you know, new to all this, you can always use the intelligent alert reduction that's going to reduce the alerts even more. But I, what I really like about this behavior blocker is instead of like giving you some random technical terms that you can't understand, it actually tells you what kind of activity the program is performing, like it gives you backdoor related activity or something like that, which is much more interesting and easier to understand and to work with. So. I really like this behavior blocker, based on past experience, of course. What this version will bring, I have no idea. So, still got the same scans and everything. It's, um, it's a pretty neat looking user interface, to be honest. There's nothing too you know, messy about this. It's neatly laid out, and uh, everything's fine. So. No problems with the user interface. Now let's check the RAM usage. I know this thing is, you know, changes with uh, the usage. The more you use your computer, the more the RAM usage is going to go up. So depends on how you're using it. At the moment, it's sitting at like 32 megabytes, which is pretty decent, I'd say. It's not the lightest, not the heaviest, but right around what you'd expect. So that's fine. It does go up sometimes, but then again, if you have a slow computer, you won't be using like 10 programs at the same time. But if you do do that, um, it's going to go up a little bit. That's not much of concern for most people because if you don't have a fast computer, you're not going to run too many tasks. And if you have one, well, an extra 20 megs won't hurt. So let's begin with the test. We're going to test it against uh, zero day malware coming from the web to start with. It will be a prevention test. So here I've got like 10 malware links that are pretty new. I just grabbed them today. Some of them may be like 20 hours old, but most of them will be less than 12 hours old. So let's give it a try and see how MCSoft performs against brand new malware. So here we go. Well, before we actually begin, I'd like to show you that it's up to date, of course. So let's run an update. And you can see that it is fully up to date. So let's begin. This is the first link. It's called cgminer.exe. probably some kind of Trojan. Some of these websites might take a while to load because, you know, malware hosting websites generally don't provide too much bandwidth. So this one ran, but it didn't quite 
run successfully, I don't know what happened. I certainly didn't get any alert from MCSoft, so if something gets in, then it's MCSoft's fault. But the next one got blocked by the web filtering service, so that's good. Here's the third one. We've got a lot of links on this website, so I've never used it. I don't know what kind of website it is, but we've got like three links, and all of them were, you know, good ones. Good ones in the sense nasty ones. You certainly don't want to be visiting this website. So, looks like the second link is being verified, and we'll run it. being verified with the anti-malware network now from MCSoft and here we go the behavior blocker springing into action program is attempting to modify an auto run entry and what should I do suggestion is not available by default it says we should block it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it this time. I'm not going to quarantine because it's not giving me any real suggestion because it's just an auto run entry and I know some legitimate programs do that as well. So I'll just block this. That one's cut by Windows Defender actually. That's a surprise. So let's continue. This one's blocked, so looks like maybe this website's going to be blocked by MCSoft. Let's try to save this one. This one's cut by the signatures and it's quarantined. This is engine B. It's not going to run because MCSoft has blocked it. So that one got blocked. So far we have two files that were not caught. One well, didn't seem to work, but the next one tried to make an auto run entry and that was cut and blocked by the behavior blocker. But the file still exists, so we'll see if it hangs around till the end of the test. Well, this one's probably not going to load and it's not may not give me an alert either because I guess the alert was for this website and it's the same website again, so looks like all these three are going to be blocked yep so let's go ahead with the next link This one's being verified again with the anti-malware network from MCSoft. So this turning out to be a real good zero-day test. Okay, so this program is attempting to manipulate other process and it's in red, so we'll block and quarantine. Yeah. So we'll try out last two. These, some of these files are really new, so it's no real surprise that they're not in the signatures. This one is.
got some zero day malware files as well in fact all these files I just grabbed them an hour ago so it'll be a good test hopefully of the signatures that MCSoft possesses now here's another weird looking file most of the malware looks weird So this one's caught by the signatures. In fact, not this one, but some file that this one tried to create was caught by the signatures. And now this one is caught by the behavior blocker as manipulating other process will block and quarantine that. So that's the end of that. Still being verified. So what I'll do, I'll let this, you know, analysis go on. I'll wait for about five minutes and then I'll reboot the computer and if we don't have anything fishy running around we'll proceed to the next part of the test. So I'll be back after a reboot. The system just rebooted and there's nothing really weird that I can see that might interfere with the next part of the test so we'll leave our analysis till the end so We'll proceed to the next part. We'll disable all guards and extract our folder of malware. So we have 501 items. I'm going to put them inside this folder and then we're going to see how many MCSoft can detect and remove. These are really fresh, mind you, just like one or two hours sold. Let's make sure we have 501. Yes we do, so now we'll just do a right click scan. So I'll be right back after the scan and removal process is complete. Welcome back. Uh, the scan's complete and the removal process is underway. We're deleting all infections and it says it's found two, 502 infections. So let's see how many it removes. So I'll be right back after the removal process is done. The removal process is complete and would you believe it? It's removed each and every one. So we're left with nothing nothing at all nothing to do the zero day test with and believe you me today I got um, even fresher files than I generally get I generally get files that are like one day old or two days old but today I tried to grab the latest version so that I could probably get some files through this so that I could test out the behavior blocker but as it turns out even these files were not good enough to make it past MCSoft signatures which is really amazing to see that it's caught each and every one of these really new files. Well, we did get to see the behavior blocker in action, so make no mistake about that. Um, I'm sure you saw the last two links that were not caught by the signatures. The behavior blocker did respond to those infections. But since I'm not yet sure that this computer is completely clean, I will do a scan with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and then I'll be giving my final verdict. Well, both Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro have finished scanning and it's judgment time. First of all, Malwarebytes, it came up with a clean sheet, it didn't find anything, and Hitman Pro 2 didn't find anything on the radar, so looks like that's another clean sheet for MCSoft. They've been doing well repeatedly for the last three years every time I've tested this product it's done well and uh, it's one of the products for me that sets the standard it sets the benchmarks for others to follow and it's certainly one of the best if not the best anti-malware suites out there it's fully equipped to deal with all the latest uh, malware they've got zero-day protection they've got good signatures they've got 
you know, I wouldn't say the most friendly, but at least uh, a pretty good user interface and alert system. So, well, if you're looking for ultimate protection, you need some to make your system really secure. If you've got sensitive data, I'd highly recommend getting something like MCSoft. Of course, there are other solutions that, that perform at this level, but, you know, it's not that highly priced or that you should, you know, just not consider it because of the price. So this is certainly one of the best payware out there. So the only downside to this apart from you know the pretty big update size is the price. Apart from that I don't really see any downside to this program. It's light, it works, and it's good for pretty much everyone. Maybe some really novice users might have problems using it but I seriously don't think that's a big deal. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Now for the surprise part. Well, as I said, the only downside to this program is its price, but as faithful Peace Security Channel subscribers and viewers, you have a chance to get one of these for free. Yeah, you heard me right. I've got 14 licenses, one year full licenses of MCSoft Anti-Malware that I'll be giving away. So to get one of those, all you have to do is go to the comment section below and write down your worst malware experience ever. And the story has to be genuine. Don't just, uh, you know, make it up. Write an original story of the most uh, gross or nasty malware infection you've ever had and uh, you could win a one-year free license to MCSoft Anti-Malware. What could be better? Well, in case you haven't got an infection yet, what you can do is you can just uh, open the web and start browsing with that protection and you'll get some soon enough. That I was joking, right? Never do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big thanks to MCSoft for giving me the licenses and a big thanks to you guys also for watching. Just stay tuned and enjoy yourself.